guys! Today I have a little November favorites video for you. It has felt like a very long month and a lot has happened this month and it's actually kind of chilly outside. It's like a cool 60 so that's awesome. We got the heat going. Feels very Christmassy. My first favorite is my little Taylor Swift Christmas tree. I think it's very cute. I put it up November 1st and I just love looking at it. It's very scraggly and sad and tiny, but I love it very much. And it's got a bunch of Taylor Swift ornaments on it. And it's just nice having a little bit of Christmas cheer in my room. And also, November 1st, I hit 200 subscribers, which is really exciting. I actually have 220 now, which is super awesome. Like. This month I've grown a lot, which is really exciting. So yeah, 220 subscribers. We're on our way to a thousand. That's my goal. I really want to get there. And I've also loved peppermint mochas at Dunkin'. They're so good. I get it with extra peppermint and extra sugar because I don't love the taste of coffee. I just love peppermint and holiday flavors and stuff. And I've also gotten a bunch of syrups on Amazon. I've gotten like a mint one and I've also gotten a pistachio one which is super good. And I put them in coffee. Uh, sometimes I'll put them in tea. It just depends on how I'm feeling that day. But definitely this month I've been drinking a lot of coffee. I've been using like syrups and flavored coffees and stuff at home which has been really cool. I haven't had to go out and buy fancy expensive coffees. I've just been doing them at home. But I have had a couple of Dunkin's peppermint mochas and they are very, very good. I also got a job this month. Maybe it was last month. I think it was the end of last month. But it, either way, <laughs> I am very happy in my job. I am doing like a part-time retail job that I'm loving and it was something I didn't think I'd enjoy as much as I do but it's very very fun and I'm having a blast and I get to be creative which is fun so it's a good time definitely so much better than my last job I hated that job so much and I'm a lot happier now and I'm making more money so yay even though it's just a seasonal part-time retail job I'm still having a lot of fun and I think they're gonna ask me to stay on because I'm really good at it just saying so we'll see with that money that I got with my new job I've been taking advantage of some Black Friday deals they had it was like Black Friday all week and then Cyber Monday was extended till Tuesday or Wednesday and it's still going and it's like we get it like these these sales are never ending but it was fun um i went to old navy a lot my mom and i both shopped at old navy a lot that's where i got the shirt and what i'm wearing under it which i'll talk about both of them later so hold your horses uh we we did a lot of shopping too much because i actually had an overdraft fee in my account because i spent so much money that uh i needed to my, my account was overdrafted and they took money out of my savings and put it into my checking so yikes I spent way too much I spent a lot of money on my parents like they're getting a lot of stuff for Christmas and ooh, I should have like chilled out a little bit but I didn't so ooh. in November I also got sick I'm still clearing my throat a lot which has been so annoying because that's probably my biggest pet peeve is people like clearing their throat. I don't know why, but I just hate it. So it's been super annoying me doing it because I'm like, can you not? And then I'm like, no, I literally can't because I have to. And it's really annoying. But other than that, pretty much all my other symptoms are gone, which is really nice. I was only sick for like a couple days but it kind of wiped me out. But the good thing is I was able to get someone to take one of my shifts and then the next day I was off. So the two days that I felt the sickest, I was at home and I didn't have to worry about anything, which was great because 
my god, I did not feel good. I was not up for working. Like, all I did was just sit around and be like, ah, for those two days. And those days I drank a lot of tea, a lot of coffee, um, a bullion cube mixed with one cup of water is really good. I mean, anyway, it tastes really good. But also, it makes you feel a lot better because it's like salt water that you're kind of getting in the back of your throat and everything. Um, and also, it just it's like an easy way if you don't want to make like chicken noodle soup. It's an easy way to get like chicken broth because it's just a bullion cube. It's just chicken broth, but... I don't know, it tastes so good, and uh, I think it makes you feel better too. And my mom made me some chicken noodle soup, which was really nice of her, and it tasted really good. So it was, even though I hate being sick, it was still like, it was a good time being at home with my mom. My next favorite has been watching stuff on Netflix, specifically Barbie. There's Life in the Dream House. I think there's another something Dream House that's up there. There's a bunch of Barbie movies that are on Netflix, and they're all really, really good. Highly suggest watching Barbie movies because they're great. Specifically the newer ones. Uh, some of the older ones I don't love as much. They're kind of more young, but I think they really, like, redid Barbie and made her just better, made the movies better, made them more enjoyable. The shows are great, they're funny, and a lot of the times um, some of them will like reference the fact that they're dolls and it's like, how do they know that? How do they know they're made of plastic? It's just like, it's funny. It's really good. Uh, highly, highly suggest watching some Barbie because it's really good. And it doesn't make it weird, it's good, it doesn't matter how old you are, it's good stuff. I've also loved having Disney Plus. I haven't watched it as much as I thought I would because I still love watching YouTube. Occasionally I'll watch Netflix, occasionally I'll watch Disney Plus. I have been obsessed with Amphibia. I've never heard of that show before, but I saw the picture and I was like, this kind of reminds me of like a Gravity Falls type thing. And I clicked on it and Brenda Song is in it. I heard the first episode and I was like, Brenda? And uh, yeah, it's her. So that's really cool. And I just love the whole vibe of it. It is definitely very Gravity Falls-esque. Uh, this girl finds herself in a world full of amphibians, talking frogs, and there's a family of frogs that keep her, let her in and everything. She's trying to get home back to the human world and it's very good. There's only one season for now, but I think they have renewed it for a second season. It's just when that season's coming out, we don't know yet. And I really hope, if it does like actually show on Disney Channel, I hope they also put it on Disney Plus at the same time, because I do not watch TV. I've also been watching a bunch of movies shot around 2000. I've been watching Xenon and this movie called Now You See It with Ali Michalka. That was pretty cool to see her in that. And My Other Self, I watched part of that, but I was sick and I fell asleep through half of it. I'm really enjoying movies around the year 2000 and I have a bunch more on my watch list. Even just like in this short time that Disney Plus has been out, they've made some really good improvements to it. They added where uh, it shows what you've watched when it first launched that wasn't a thing. I really wish they waited an extra week to come out and had all the actual things like in it that it was supposed to have because I'm, I'm sure that was supposed to be a feature that was in it from the beginning. It's just that it wasn't yet. Um, but I am loving that now you can see what you have watched and everything and you know which episode you're on because I feel like that's a basic feature that it definitely should have always had. But I am loving it. Uh, Disney Plus is definitely fun. Definitely worth, what, $6.99 or whatever. There's a lot of really good stuff on there. I really was hoping Monsters at Work was going to be something that was on there from the beginning. But apparently it's going on next year. Oh, I mean, I know it's December, but like still next year. It seems like so long away, but I'm very excited to watch that. That was one of the main selling features for me 
on Disney Plus. I heard that they were going to come out with a show about Monsters, Inc. And I was like, okay, so like, where do I sign up? And I'm very excited for that to come out. Um, I wish Child of Glass was going to be on there because when they said that like Disney Plus is going to be where every single Disney movie ever made is going to be on. And I'm like, so there's this movie called Child of Glass from the 70s and it's based on Richard Peck's Blossom Culp series, which is my favorite series. I love Blossom Culp. It's amazing. And I've never watched the movie. There are some, like, really low quality recordings. I'm guessing it's from a VHS that they got turned into a DVD and, like, somehow it's on YouTube. But I really want to see, like, I'm assuming if it's on Disney Plus, it's going to be high quality. I really want to see it on Disney Plus. And. There are several movies on there that are from the 70s, but no mention of Child of Glass, and I really, really want that to be on there, and I'm hoping next year they're going to put that on there. But even, like, the giant list of all these movies and TVs that are, like, eventually going to be on there, it wasn't on that either. But I feel like I'm the only person who would want that on there because what an obscure movie. But... Still, there are some movies that are on Disney Plus now that I have never heard of and they're from like the 50s, so it's not just me. The next favorites are some smelly things. Love me a smelly thing. So the first favorite is like a little three pack and it's from Sol de Janeiro and it also came with a little set case. I got it from Sephora but also Sol de Janeiro has a website and I'm super bummed. They had a website and it was like 20 or 25% off everything and you get a free like little tiny thing of boom boom cream. It wasn't free shipping on all orders, it was free shipping over 50 and the set that I wanted, this set is originally $25 but it was on sale for like 18 so I'd have to buy like four of these to get free shipping. Shipping was the same price as the discount was, it was like this. Minus six fifty for twenty five percent off shipping six fifty and I'm like what so it's just full price so I could just go to Sephora whenever and pick it up I didn't get another set of this but I need one not soon but before too long because here's the boom boom cream I've already used up a lot of it and it smells so good and here's the perfume and I've used up quite a bit. It's down to here now. And I feel like I haven't even used it that much. I think I got it in November. It smells so good. It all smells like, all of it smells like the Boom Boom Cream. So I've already used up a bunch of that. This, I don't know, you can't see through it, but this is the shower gel. This is the Brazilian Foreplay. <laughs> I love all this stuff. It smells amazing. And they're pretty big sizes, it's just that I've been using it constantly. This is 90 mil or 3 fluid ounces. This is 50 mil or 1.5 fluid ounces. This is 30 mil, 1 ounce. So they're pretty big and I didn't think I'd go through them this quickly, but I'm going to need another one before too long. Uh, but Sephora still has it, $25, so when that time comes, when I'm like, ooh, girl, I need another, I could just go to Sephora and pick up another one. My next favorite is from Old Navy, and we went to Old Navy, and then like a couple days later, we went back, and there were no more of these. <laughs> and the first time we went, there were quite a few, so people have been buying these up. This was on Clearance Girl, this was originally $12, and it was on sale for $4. And it smells so good. It's so warm and just woodsy and beautiful. And it's called Autumn Woods and Chai. And it smells so good. And this is one ounce. But see, like, it doesn't look like I've used that much. But I feel like I've used it quite a bit. And then this, I feel like I don't use much. And it looks like I've used it all up. So, I don't know. But it smells so good. And you can still smell it at the end of the day which is really good for something cheap. I mean, even originally at $12, that's a pretty good price for a fluid ounce of product. I don't know, things that you could get at a store, like something from 
that's Aeropostale brand or Old Navy brand, you wouldn't think would be as good as something you could get from Sephora or Ulta that's like a brand, like Juicy Couture or something, like you'd think would be better and this wouldn't last and it would be like, it would smell okay but it would go away in an hour. That's just what I think when I think of something that's like a perfume that's made by a clothing company, you know? I feel like it wouldn't be as good as something that was made by a company that does perfumes and that's what they do. That I think makes more sense, but it smells awesome. Really, really enjoy the smell of this and it does last all day and it's so warm and it's just amazing. I love the way it smells. It smells awesome. I've been loving plaid shirts this month too. This one is from Old Navy. I have a couple from Old Navy. I've gotten some from Kohl's. I've gotten some from Goodwill. I got some. I've gotten a bunch from my grandfather. I wear my grandfather's plaid clothes a lot, just his clothes in general. I have some coats that were his that I have some shirts. He had a lot of like um, Harley shirts. He was big into motorcycles, big into, uh, he was a world champion barrel racer. So we have a lot of shirts that are from different equestrian centers or just different horses and stuff in general. And I love wearing those clothes. They fit really well. And also they just they remind me of being young and it's just fun and I like it. If you have any family members where you could like snag a shirt or two, like do it. <laughs> um, because it's just nice to remember them and stuff and it's nice clothes. This specific one is new. I think it's cute. I like the, it's got some green in it so it's very festive. It's not the typical like red and blue plaid shirt. It's got some blue in it, it's got some red in it, but it's mostly like red and black but it's just so nice and comfortable and I really like it and it's soft and I'm enjoying it. It's fun. I've also been enjoying pajamas. Oh my God, I love a good comfy pajama. I personally love onesies. That's what I wear to bed. This one that I'm wearing is, I would call it a jumpsuit. I wouldn't call it a onesie, but I'll show you it. I personally think this is a cute little outfit, right? Like, this is the, like, little jumpsuit that I have, and it's super soft, it's got some buttons, and it's got this where you could tie it up in a little bow. Cinches at the bottom, also wearing my beautiful, these are another favorite. They're also from Old Navy, little bear slippers. But, like, I think it's cute. I think this would also be cute with a little jean jacket, some little white converse, that would be a cute outfit. I don't know what I'd wear with this, probably white Converse too. I think this is a cute outfit, but it's also pajamas and it's super comfortable. The one thing I don't like is it, like the, the stuff in it comes off. My sheets are just covered in like little teeny, teeny, tiny pieces of like this like dark blue grayish thread. It, it, you can't like, it's not coming off right now, but like, ugh. I don't know. I don't know what the what the inside's made of, but it comes off easily. Here we go. So here's a little piece here. It's like a little fluff piece. And that gets everywhere. It's all over the floor. It's all over my bed. It's everywhere. It's in the carpet. Ugh. That's really, really annoying. That's the one thing I really don't like about this onesie is that it does that. I hate that it does that because in every other aspect it's perfect but that like the fluff on the inside gets everywhere and it's ugh, I hate it but I still wear it every night so so this is a favorite onesie and I have another one too this is from Kohl's and this is a thicker onesie and it's like nice and shiny and it's got clouds all over it, it reminds me of Ariana and it's thick uh, this one has a zipper. I prefer a zipper to buttons, I think. I'd rather have a snap. If I could just go and it comes off, like snaps would be ideal, but I've never seen one with snaps. This is from the Sew so brand, Intimates. 
and they have quite a few patterns but I loved this one I love gray I love clouds my favorite pattern is the gray with white stars on it I have so much stuff with that print uh, but this kind of reminded me of it but it had clouds on it so it reminded me of Ariana and I think it's really cute and the little arms taper wow there's a lot of fur on this <laughs> oh my god if you can see there's it's a lot of bunny fur there's a couple pieces of Bailey fur too but it's mostly bunny fur uh, but I like that it tapers in at the arms. Does it do it at the legs? It sure does. Wow. This one's like, does this do it too? I don't know, but look at the bottom of it. It looks like it's like coming apart, like it's fluffing off. Like how this thing does. Maybe it does. I hate that. I hate that like stuff does that. I don't, I definitely don't notice it as much with this as I do with the one I'm wearing. It doesn't feel like you could pick it up and take the fluff out. I don't know. Anyway, I love this too and I got it from Kohl's and this one I got from Old Navy. Same thing as the plaid. I've also been reading again which has been wonderful. I really don't read if I don't have a job which is kind of sad because I love reading and it's a favorite pastime of mine. When I was younger, oh my god, I didn't do anything but read, but I've been reading a lot more and I've been having so much fun. I've been using Hoopla. It's a fun little app and it's connected to your library and it's free, which I love. So you, it has a bunch of, it has, okay, so here are the little things it has. Audiobooks, movies, music, comics, ebooks, television. And I just use it for ebooks this sounds very advertisement. It's not. But um, I found this out because I'm in a Facebook group called Books, Books, and More Books or something like that. I don't know what it's actually called. But we are all obsessed with books and we talk about the books we're reading. And someone mentioned that they use Hoopla and I am in love. I actually have 16 titles I can borrow this month because I think it like accrues and if you don't use it for a month, like it rolls over to the next month which is really nice. I think usually you can do five things a month but there were a couple months there that I wasn't reading at all so they accrued and kind of rolled over which is nice. This stuff is everywhere. Uh, so I have specifically loved 10 Blind Dates by Ashley Elston and the picture is adorable. This was a really good book and it's uh, very festive, it's a cute little Christmas love story, big fan, and it's free. And uh, I've also been reading some by Brianna Shrum that have been really good. Right now I'm reading The Art of French Kissing and it's also adorable. I've been reading more young adult which has been nice. I used to read a lot of middle grade fiction just because they tend to be lighter topics, but even then, like, they get kind of heavy sometimes. It's it's crazy what they talk about in middle grade fiction now. Like, wow, they talk about some heavy stuff. But these are all the classic, fluffy, little, cute love stories that you think they'd be. Brianna Shrum, the book I read was Kissing Ezra Holt and Other Things I Did for Science. It had some, like, more adult things in it, not gonna lie. Um, wow. So, <laughs> keep that in mind. But, uh, Ten Blind Dates was the average love story set in Christmas. It was super cute. And this is another, The Art of French Kissing that I'm reading now is another one by, uh, Brianna Shrum. So I'm guessing there might be a little bit more adult themes in that, too. But so far, it really hasn't. But I've been loving reading. I haven't read much, uh, but I will be doing a full what I read this month video that I haven't done in several months because I haven't been reading. So look out for that. I personally do one book at a time because you can keep things for, I think, I don't actually know. I don't know how, how long you can keep them, 30 days? I don't think so. Maybe like 20, 21. I'm guessing 21, maybe three weeks. Um, so if you don't read it in three weeks, it automatically 
gets returned. And since I'm not reading super quickly, I'll just get one book and then I'll read it and then I'll get another book and I'll read it and I'll get another another book. And every time I finish reading, I automatically like return it so that way someone else can read it. I don't know if only one person can read a book at a time. I don't know how many they have of a book. Maybe it's like three or something. I don't actually know. But if I'm done reading it, why am I going to hold on to it if someone else can read it, you know? That's my favorite thing about having a job other than the money. That's always number one. But also is reading. It's so nice to read on my lunch breaks, but that's the only time I read. Like very, very rarely if I do get into a book, I'll read it when I'm at home. But for the most part, it's at work that I'm reading. Sometimes like since I have a job, I'll also like go out to eat by myself and then I'll read there too. We're almost at the end, but the next favorite is actually a makeup favorite and it's Tarte's Lights Camera Lashes Mascara. This is just a little one. I also have a full size that I haven't opened and I also have another small one. This is what the wand looks like and this one's just teeny tiny, like it's super little. But I'm loving it. It really separates your lashes and makes them really long, beautiful, beautiful lashes. They're not clumpy. They're not ugly. <laughs> they're just like the perfect lashes in my opinion. I think they're beautiful. So I've definitely been reaching for this. This was my old favorite, Better Than Sex. But it's super, super clump clumpy. Like when you take it out, there's so much on the wand. It's so clumpy and it clumps up your lashes a lot too. I still use this sometimes, but then I'll be like, don't love the way my lashes look today. They're super clumpy. And then I'll go back to this and it just like, oh, your lashes are like, it looks like individual lashes as opposed to that, which you have like five lashes. With this, your lashes really disperse and it's just beautiful, beautiful look. I love this mascara so much. Love it. Get it. Try it. And my final favorite is the Approachable podcast with Sam, Samantha Ravendahl, and uh, Alyssa Anderson. It's really good. I, I've heard of it for a while, but I didn't listen to it because it was a pod, it's a podcast. So for the first season, it was only available in sound form, but this season they added video. And once they added a video, I was like, okay, here we go. Let's watch because I will watch, I will watch a podcast, but I really won't listen to a podcast. So I was watching it from YouTube and then I started going back into Spotify and actually listening to it. I'll do it when I'm like doing my makeup or something or brushing my teeth, getting ready in the morning. I still don't listen to it if I'm like driving. I really just want to listen to music when I'm doing that. I don't listen to it if I'm on my lunch break, I'm reading then. So it's not very often that I'll listen to a podcast, but sometimes I will. And what I don't like about it is a podcast is usually like an hour, but I'll only listen to it like 10 minutes at a time. If I'm brushing my teeth, fixing my hair, doing my makeup, like it doesn't take me long to do those things. So I'm listening to like little clips at a time of a podcast and it's kind of hard to get into it. So even still, I don't love listening to the podcast, but I love watching it on YouTube, having it in the background. If I'm doing something, I just love doing it that way because I can still see them. So it's just like a giant long YouTube video and it's great and it's fun. And they explore a lot of interesting topics. It's not just, this is what makeup I love. Like, it's nothing superficial. They really talk about interesting stuff like addiction, depression, and anxiety, and um, chronic illnesses, chronic pain, just really in-depth issues, but they talk about it in an approachable way. So you're not sitting there thinking like, I'm listening to this crazy, like, really intense stuff. You're just listening to two friends talk about stuff. It's not the kind of podcast you'd think a YouTuber would come out with. Just when I think of a YouTuber's podcast, I think of just two girls blabbing about makeup and buying things and shopping and boys. 
but this is like a really really good podcast and I recommend it. Also Jenna and Julian's podcast but I'm sure you already watch it. So those are all my favorites. <sighs> Did you make it to the end? Probably not. I'm excited for Christmas obviously so my parents better love what they got. Oh my god, if they hate everything, I'm going to be really upset and I'm going to be like, it's all going back. Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe if you want to, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.